Sun Tzu Miao was a distinguished doctor living in the Sui and Tong dynasty, about 6th to 7th century AD. He lived a very long life, more than 100 years, which was very rare in ancient times. Sun Tzu Miao was regarded as China's king of medicine. Even today, we can find temples dedicated to Sun Tzu Miao in some small villages. This is a wooden engraving of Sun Tzu Miao. He is riding a tiger and holding a dragon. People believe that he could cure not only human beings, but also animals and spirits, like dragons. These are replicas from four stone tablets at Sun Tzu Miao's hometown in Shanxi province. There are a lot of Chinese characters carved into the tablets. These are Sun Tzu Miao's prescriptions. He wrote two representative books. One is called Qian Jin Yao Fang, translated as Prescriptions for Emergencies that is worth a thousand pieces of gold. Another book is a supplement of the prior book called Qian Jin Yi Fang. In the Song Dynasty, about 12th century AD, an official called Guo Su read Sun Tzu Miao's books. He thought these prescriptions were very practical. So, he selected about 900 prescriptions and carved them into the stone tablets. This is the first stone tablet. The first chapter is about female illnesses. The second chapter is full of prescriptions for children, food poisoning, and medicine poisoning. All the prescriptions are for common diseases. Guo Si did this so that more people could see and use these prescriptions, especially those poor people who could not afford to see doctors. They could simply copy some prescriptions and get the medicine from the pharmacy. The four stone tablets are still preserved at the Mountain of the King of Medicine in Sun Tzu Miao's hometown. Traditional Chinese medicine is not something dead in the showcase of a museum, but life that is still breathing and growing. <laughs>